seven yards. And the Saints get a bit closer. Well, yes, that's his third touchdown catch, which is very... Oh, and it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. And it's caught inside the five. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. And the formula there on the two-point try, they go five wide, not even the option to hand the ball off. They got it. They tried to create space, and there isn't a whole lot of it there. For the defense, what you're trying to do is make sure that if someone, if they're going to catch the ball, make them catch it behind you because they run out of space with the back line. But in this case, the offense figured it out. And now here come the Ravens. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Fights through, and now Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. There he goes, right side. And he's into the end zone. A fumble return, and a Saint touchdown. Yeah, baby. We got it. We got it. This defense, Charles, they needed some type of a spark to help get them back in this game. I think they just got their spark. No doubt about it. You know that's all they discussed. Half oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. And it's caught. And he is not going to get in here. So the decision to go for two does not pay off as they're unable to cut any further into their deficit. Now they had the big play on the fumble return. They were looking for the one-two punch, but they couldn't get that two-point conversion. And I have to wonder, were they scheduled to go ahead and kick the extra point? But after a play like that, you talk about the one-two punch, right? It's a momentum play. Go for two and really try to capitalize, and that's what they attempted. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays, they're going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, <laughs> right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal... End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Buying time to his left. And he will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. A 21-yard touchdown run as the Ravens push further out in front. Well, this was a pass all the way, but he just kept buying time, didn't he? It was kind of like, wait. Wait, oh, it's open. Time to hop foot it and go. And boy, was he. Oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. And this fake extra point attempt failed big time. Not only did they not get it, they went backwards. Uh, let me go ahead and show my age a little bit. I liked it when they would fake it from the three yard line, right? When you'd line up, go ahead and, oh, there's a fake. And now he's going to get two. That's great. But from the 15. The risk-reward is just not there. It's so risky to get 15 yards on a fake. Oh, you see the result right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, let's go, but let's go back to old reliable. Kick the ball through the post. Get off my lawn. That's darn right. So, Breeze and the Saints down by 13, 2.15 remaining. They have all three timeouts and the two-minute warning, but they need two scores. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Drew Brees, six fourth-quarter comebacks a season ago, and that led the NFL. He'll try to deliver another one. So it's Saints football as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. To throw again on second down. Breeze. Matt Judon in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. From the gun on third down, Breeze. Now Breeze lost the football. 
so they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about, getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. Exactly right. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven, Matt Judon. And now, boy, the ball's going to go over on downs here inside the 10-yard line. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. Breaking the huddle first and goal as the return team has set him up with golden field position. Here's Jackson to throw, and he will score! Touchdown, Baltimore! Taking it in from seven yards away as the Ravens push further out in front. Brandon, that touchdown certainly looks like the clincher to me. Probably a little too much to overcome, don't you think? I would agree. I say at this stage of the game, that touchdown should seal the fate. Here we go now as they will again try for two. Now it's Jackson being chased out left. He'll try and run it. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, a big seam, and he might go all the way. He's at the 30, the 20, and he brings this one all the way back. So definitely good for the individual stats, maybe not for our storyline, but he's in for the late score. It's been a back-and-forth game, a lot of points on the... Oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. And this fake extra point attempt failed big time. Not only did they not get it, they went backwards. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare them to do that? I was going to ask you, what maybe they, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film when those to try something from the 15 on a PAT? I the, don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hole, and someone kicking the ball through the post. Now that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. Good starting field position for him as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Fluff Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Well, I'm guessing that on the sidelines, there might be a few words said about that mistake there, but I don't think it's going to hurt them in the long run. They're still going to get out of here with a win. Yeah, they got the, the two-score cushion, but you know what coaches say, Trump? And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Pernell McPhee in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Here's Breeze to throw. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Breeze. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Patrick on Wassor. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Both defenses have had their struggles, but they've been good enough to get them this lead and another nice play there to help preserve the lead. It's been a game of punch-counterpunch, hasn't it? All throughout. But this time, the big swing was taken, and it didn't land. Nice play by them on defense. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that. Watch me, watch me, 
celebrate, I'm Gaki. I do my dance, jump in the stands, no man a man, oh devil with the hands, thought he could guard me, I ruin they plans, I do what I want, they do what they can, got it on smash, put on the gas, I will not crash, honey y'all dash, 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 yeah. They can't catch up cause they lacking the stamina Way too advanced to be playing with amateurs They on attack when they tackle like damager They react and play it back on the camera Hot boy, just consider me flammable Sure shot, I got all the intangibles Need a leash, I'm a beast, I'm an animal Keep the competition up like a Hannibal Know the game like I wrote up the manual I do weekly what you do on the annual MVP, that decision unanimous Hit dials, I don't think they can handle it Battlefield, it's just me and my warriors Guaranteed we emerging victorious Years blessed, wet tears, is glorious I remember when they all was adoring us Dash, got it on, smash Foot on the gas, I will not Crash, they will not stop me. Tempo, copy, end zone, watch me, celebrate. I'm cocky, I do my dance. Jump in the stands, no man, no man. Oh, devil with the hands, thought he could guard me. I ruin they plans, I do what I want, they do what they can. Got it on smash, put on the gas, I will not crash. Honey, y'all, dash, honey, y'all, dash, honey, y'all, dash, honey, y'all, dash, honey, y'all, dash. It's the NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. The two teams emerging from their respective tunnels a minute ago to the approval of this Baltimore crowd. They're all set as their Ravens will match up with the Minnesota Vikings. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle with the Baltimore Ravens. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Arrowhead. This is fielded at the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Now Jackson on first down, forced out to his left. He's going to take off with it. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And they take over. They'll set up shot at the 46-yard line. As you and I both know, one reason teams script plays to start a game is so they can practice them ahead of time. I will guarantee you that fumble was not in the script. You don't think they had fumble written next to play one there? No, that was never in the script because they want to have good memories when they go into a ball game, not something that could have gone wrong. Here a throw taken in by Watkins. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. They'll run it with Williams. 
Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. 